Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to step you through attaching an Esri public account to Duke University's organization on Esri. Then I'm going to explain each of the downloads we need to perform in order to use ArcGIS for bathymetry. And then I'm going to walk you through accessing and activating the appropriate licenses. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Esri's website and create a public account. After you log in, click on the account and go to My Esri. What we want to do is attach this account to the Duke University organization. So click on the My Organizations tab, request permissions, and then request permissions to your organization. For organization name, enter Duke University, and then download software and the description tab box. And then click send request. Uh, shortly, someone from the Nicholas School of the Environment will reach out to you for your name and that ID in order to attach this account to Duke University's public organization. I'm now logged into an account that's attached to Duke University. Now I'm going to explain which software we need to download for bathymetry. Go ahead and enter, click on My Esri again. And now you can see under the My Organizations tab, this account is attached to Duke University. Go ahead and click on Downloads. And there are three things that we need to download in order to use, uh, use our bathymetry workflow. The first is ArcGIS for desktop. So go ahead and download the most recent version. Um, you can do that by just clicking Download here and then running the .exe file and following the steps. And there's two other things, things that we need to install. Um, one is the ArcGIS for Maritime Bathymetry, and the other one is Arc Time for Mar ArcGIS for Maritime Charting. So go ahead and download all three of those, those programs. And now the next thing we need to do is to activate the licenses for all of these programs. So one of the things that we'll have installed is ArcGIS Administrator. So now that we have the software installed, we actually have to activate the license. Um, so if you go to Authorize Now, go ahead and click I have installed my software and need to authorize it. Authorize with Esri Now using the internet. Go ahead and fill out these forms. And now in the next uh, box, there's uh, an entry place where we can enter in an ArcGIS GIS authorization number. So you can access that from the Esri portal under Licensing. Go to Licensing and then click on View Authorizations and then scroll down to ArcGIS Desktop Standard Single Use. Click Details, and you can see there's an authorization number here. You can see that this one was authorized by, by me. So go ahead and copy that, paste it in here, and then you'll be able to click Authorize. After you do that, if you click on Availability, Desktop Standard will say Installed, and Authorize will say Yes. But there's all these other extensions that we installed that won't be authorized. So now I'm going to show you how to authorize each of them. Go ahead and click on Desktop, Authorize Now as before. Now say I have already authorized the software, I need to authorize additional extensions. So this box will show up um, with all these different features and authorization numbers. Um, now go ahead and enter in Bathymetry here, and underneath that enter in Charting. Now for each of these authorization numbers, if we come back to our portal, uh, we, we can find each of them listed. Here's ArcGIS for Maritime Bathymetry. That's what we're going to use for Bathymetry. There's authorization number right there. Um, there's also for charting there. And there's a few other things we need to authorize. We need to authorize VD Analyst, Spatial Analyst, Workflow Manager, and also um, Data Inter Ability. Once we authorize each of those, um, our, our workflow uh, will, will work. So this ends the tutorial on setting up and activating um, ArcGIS for desktop for bathymetry. And in my next tutorial, I'll actually get into how to use the software.